one, two, three, four. More TL431 magic. This time as the modulator in an AM transmitter. I had a great response to my previous video using a TL431 as an amplifier for a crystal set. You wouldn't expect it, but this three-legged component gave enough output power to drive a speaker. Here's another application. I haven't seen it described elsewhere on the web, so hopefully this video will get people experimenting with using TL431s as a modulator for a QRP AM transmitter. This is my messy construction, just to prove that it works. A crystal controlled two transistor CW transmitter on 7 MHz, being modulated by the TL431 stage over here. There's enough gain in the TL431 stage for it to be modulated directly from this electric microphone insert. Long time QRPs will recognize it as the OXO designed by gm 3 x and published in many GQRP Club publications. Over here is the crystal oscillator using a 7.159 MHz crystal. You could easily substitute another one like for 3.5 MHz or even 1.8 MHz. The transistor for the oscillator, well I used a BC548 but you could use anything similar like a 2N3904 or a 2N222. The output from the oscillator goes into the final stage using a BD139. That would put out several hundred milliwatts, though if you adjust the values you might even be able to get one watt or even a bit more. There's some low pass filtering provided by this single section Pi network. The modulation is applied across this 22 ohm resistor. Over here is the TL431 stage. It's pretty similar to what I described before for the amplified crystal set except I've got an electric microphone insert with bias voltage being applied from this 10k resistor. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Time to do some test transmissions. The voice recorder on my Android phone works well enough but doesn't do a repeat or loop playback. However, I was able to get it to repeat with another app called Repeat Player. It's free, though there are ads. Test transmission from VK3YE. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. VK3YE testing. As you can hear, the transmission quality on AM is very good. But the real test is when you get to the fringe areas, where the signal is weak. There, the modulation depth is critical to signal readability. one kilometer distant. The signal is not very strong but as you can hear the audio is still fairly punchy. I should mention that I'm using a G5RV. It's a horizontally polarized antenna and is definitely not ideal for local ground wave communication. This has been a successful experiment. The TL431 voltage regulator has been found to be a cheap, simple and good sounding AM modulator for a QRP AM transmitter. One, two, three, four, one. Heard a term on the air you don't understand the meaning of? That's where you need the Illustrated International Ham Radio Dictionary. Just released, it's available as an e-book and in some countries in paperback as well. For more information, visit my website, vk3ye.com, or search Ham Radio Dictionary on Amazon.